the studio. Yeah. 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 What will you do with the Israelis? Yeah. Yeah. What will you do with them? What will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with the Israelis? We will take them back to Russia where they came from. I don't condemn Hamas. I support Do you condemn? I support Do you condemn? I support Hamas. I know a terrorist supporter. What should happen is that our country should deport people like you. So no, I, I'd like to talk to you now. You heckled me. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, want to I, no, 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 no. You heckled me. I no, want to talk to you. What, what about? What about? What about? What about? What about? What about the Muslims who invaded other people's lands and enslaved them by the millions? What about the conquest of Egypt? What about what about the bombing of Christian churches in Pakistan? What about the bombing of Christian churches in Baghdad? Why? 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 No, no. No, we'll, we'll, you can stand off camera if you want to. You just spent time heckling me. Now I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. Why are you? Why are you scared of talking on camera? You were you were willing to heckle me. You were willing to heckle me. Why not debate on camera? Why not? Why? Why are you afraid? Why are you suddenly the, frightened? Why are you suddenly frightened? What about the video. what about the Islamic slave trade? The, what about what about the Islamic persecution of Christians? Yeah. What what about what about the indigenous of Africa that were Arabized? Have you forgot about those? You went to heckle me about the indigenous of Canada. What about the the Nubians of Egypt? What about the Nubians of Sudan? What about the Assyrians? What about the Assyrians of Baghdad? What about the Assyrians of Baghdad? What about the Assyrians of Baghdad? You wanted to debate. You heckled me over there. You heckled me over there. You wanted to talk about indigenous. So let's talk about the indigenous of South Sudan. What about the indigenous of South Sudan? Make me. 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 Heckle me again. I'll follow you again. Are you? Are you? They, this is what your religion has done to your mind. Look at what your religion. What about the thousands that have died at the hands of jihadis? What about the thousands that have died at the hands of jihadis? How conceited are you in your supremacism? Look at how Islam makes you behave. Make me. Make me. Make me. Look at what Islam makes you do. Yeah, it'll go up and I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. It'll go up. I guarantee this video is going up. I guarantee this video is going up. What about the Nubians and the Assyrians and the Armenians and the Greeks and the Romanians and the Hungarians and the Greeks and the Berbers? Don't talk to me about the indigenous of Canada. I condemn the persecution of Christians by Hamas. I condemn. First of all, do you condemn I condemn. Israel I don't need to jump through your hoops. Because last time I, I don't need to jump time through I your hoops. I spoke to you last time. You said you follow the American version of the Bible, and America is supporting Israel. Where have I ever said that? Where have I ever said that? You, call them you see, you have to lie. You call them goyim. The first you words goyim is worse that have than come the out of your mouth. Bible. Are lies. You are a liar. Now I wonder you why you had to lie. I wonder why you had to lie. The Messiah came 2,000 years ago. Israel is waiting for them. America is waiting for them. The Messiah in our book is the Antichrist. And Jesus will kill the Antichrist in Bad Lid. The God of Lid. So do you condemn? Oh, Hamas's persecution of Hamas. He doesn't condemn Hamas's persecution of Christians. He does not condemn Hamas's persecution of Christians. That's what he just said. That's what he just said. He does not condemn Hamas's persecution of Christians. What about? Do you condemn the Muslims Brotherhood's persecution of Christians? Do you? Do you condemn? Do you condemn 
The Muslim Brotherhood's persecution of Christians in Egypt. He doesn't condemn. He doesn't condemn. He doesn't condemn. Do you mean Hamas? Who do you mean? Do you condemn? I don't condemn Hamas. I support Do you condemn? I support Hamas. Do you condemn? I support Hamas. I know. A terrorist supporter. A terrorist supporter. You are the terrorist. You are the terrorist. And if they are willing to support terrorism abroad, they will be willing to support terrorism in the UK. Everybody else will steal it. Do you condemn? Do you condemn? Do you condemn? Brother, brother, I have a question. Why is he, you support Hamas? I support Hamas, of course. Why, why, why? They're defending Palestinians against ethnically cleansing. And they are persecuting Christians. They are persecuting Christians in Palestine. And the Muslims will not condemn it. They do not condemn terrorism abroad. So they will support terrorism here. The logic is inescapable. He does not condemn the Muslim Brotherhood that persecutes Christians in Egypt. Do you condemn? Do you condemn the Fulani Muslims who are killing Christians in Nigeria? Do you condemn them? 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 So, do you condemn Fulani Muslims who are killing Christians in Nigeria? Do you condemn them? Do you condemn them? What about Janjaweed Muslims who are killing Christians in South Sudan? Do you condemn them? Lies, he says. Lies, he says. Go and check. Go and check. Go and check. Do you condemn? Ram Hamas. Ram Hamas. From Hamas! From Hamas! From Hamas! From Hamas! We're gonna unite a Sunni and Shia. We're gonna stand against Israelis. And what will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with them? What will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with the Israelis? We will take them back to Russia, where they came from. There you go. On camera, he has just advocated the genocide of six million Jews in Israel. That's what he just said. We will kick them back to Russia, he said. Ethnic cleansing is what he just said. Give them an option to leave. And what about the Americans? What will you do with the Americans? Yeah, I hope a stone will hit him. He hopes the Americans are destroyed. He hopes the Israelis are destroyed. This is the hatred of the pro-Palestinian movement. This is what he's doing. He just called for the destruction of 12 or 6. I don't even know the population of Israel. But he called for their elimination and their removal from the Middle East. That is what he just said. Right, now let me expose him for the hypocrite he is. I'm going to expose you now as a hypocrite. I expose you now as a hypocrite. Do you condemn? Do, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Did you hear that? Yes, I do. Yes, there you go. And that's the difference between me and you. That's the difference between my religion and your religion is I can condemn the abuses against Palestinians but you advocate the annihilation of the Jewish people in the Middle East. That's the difference between the fruits of Christianity and the fruits of Islam. Jesus is free from you. Isa is free from you. So, you have nothing to do with You don't know anything about Isa. Firstly, his name is not Isa. His name in Hebrew is Yeshua. Not Isa. Not Isa. 
Zionist. Not Isa. You are using the Jews. I'm a Christian. You are you are using the Jews. No, you are using the Palestinians to justify your anti-Semitism. You're using the Palestinians to justify your hatred of Jews. That's what it is. That's what it is. And America. And the UK. What about the UK support for Israel? What should happen to the UK? Britain. The British state supports Israel. What do you think we should do to Britain? There we go. So you think that you should fight Britain, right? We are fighting a war of self-defense. Against Britain. So you should fight Britain, right? So you should fight a war of self-defense. we force all the Jews out of the Middle East. We haven't attacked no one. America should be destroyed by Allah, send a meteorite. And we fight against Britain. Sunnis, that is what the jihadis and the terrorist supporters stand for. And the rest of you need to wake up. You need to wake up to these jihadis and these Islamists. And you need to stand up against them. You are a Zionist, American Zionist. Yeah. You will be defeated in the end. Do I sound American? <laughs> you, you need American. But do I sound American? <laughs> this is how <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> this is how ignorant they are. You are I sound Zionist. You are a Zionist. I sound Zionist. What does a Zionist sound like? Somebody who is ethnically cleansing Muslims who call them goyim, less than a dog. Who believes they should kill all Muslims? Now prove that I said any of those words. Now prove that I said any of these words. Now prove that I said any of these words. And I would ask you, I would ask you to keep your hands to yourself. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. You pushed me a few times so far. Right, let's take a step back. There you go, you're pushing again. Pushing again. You need to keep yourself under control. I know you're an Islamist jihadi. I know you're a terrorist supporter. What should happen is that our country should deport people like you. You should be deported, yes. You, you should be deported. You should be a deported. Why are you here? Why are you not going to Israel? Why are you here? Right. So, let me, let me just clarify something. I'm going to, no, I don't. Okay, you don't support us. No, I don't. You support American. No, no, I don't. Listen. You see, listen, listen. Because I'm going to educate you now. I'm going to educate you now. Right. About, about what I believe. You're going to educate me about what I believe. You're going to educate me about what I believe. Because this debate is about what I believe. So you're going to educate me about what I believe. Please tell me what I believe. You believe I know what you believe. What do I believe? You told me last time. What do I believe? You, you believe in the Christian version of America. So basically, uh, in my the view, Christian like, version of America. Stop pushing! Stop pushing! Stop keeping your hands to yourself! I know I'm attractive! I know I am attractive! I know I'm attractive, but I don't swing that way! I don't swing that way! I'm not gay! I'm straight! I like girls! So it doesn't matter how many times you touch me, I don't want you to flirt with me anymore! Stop flirting! Stop flirting! So, so, right, so, now the jihadi guy who is possibly sexually confused and definitely attracted to me is going to educate me. I'm just a Buddhist, I want to pass through. I'm just a Buddhist, I want to pass through. Right? Wait, 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 what are you touching? What are you touching? Why are you touching everybody? You pushed that guy, you pushed him, you pushed me. Oh, it's always someone else's fault. It's always someone else's fault. Take responsibility for where your hands are. I'm the referee. I'm the referee. Scared. Right? No, I'm scared a, from you. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. Wait, Don't I'm flatter a yourself. I'm a, I'm a referee. I'm be, I'm be warned. I'm an ex-boxer, so this can have, I can throw them off. It's all, the it's all in the footwork. It's all in the footwork. This has some feet. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. They do not come down to the level. No, of the ball. Ball. Of Don't provoke. I've heard the two guys. Still touching people. people. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see the evidence. Go on, right. Talk now. Okay. So, so, so. So let's have a discussion. What I would like you to do, please, is to talk. Time it. Right. He will have three minutes. Have three, right. I will have three minutes. Right. He's the ref. I'm the ref. And you will decide when the three minutes are up. 
let's keep it uh, respectful. Let's not be animals. Well, okay? try that. No, try that. No, you try that. I'm yeah, practice what you preach. You try that. You try to practice what you preach. Right. Well, who's first? You decide. Right, you go first. Okay. Right, when he reached six, you go All right, so the guy said to me, he said, you're a Zionist. I'm on camera condemning Israel. So he's wrong. I don't support the state of Israel. So he's wrong. He lied about me. His very first words were a lie. Because I am a Christian, I support the Christians in the Middle East. And I recognize the Christians in the Middle East are suffering twice. They are suffering as Palestinians because of the actions of the Israeli state. But they are also suffering because of the actions of Islamists that he supports, terrorist organizations that he supports, that are also persecuting Christians. And I want to point out to you that he said he supports Hamas. In Hamas's charter, they don't just talk about destroying Israel, they talk about fighting the Jews until the end of time. That's in the Hamas charter. So this is a man who's using the Palestinian cause to justify his hatred of Jews and his ignorance about the persecution of Christians at the hands of Hamas. I asked him, does he condemn the Muslim Brotherhood and their persecution of Christians in Egypt? And do you know what this terrorist supporter jihadi said? He said, no, no, I don't condemn them. So in other words, if Muslims are persecuting Christians, he's okay with it. But if other people persecute Muslims, he demands everybody condemn it. And I say, we don't jump through the hoops of the Islamists. We expose their hypocrisy, we challenge them for their duplicity, and we call them to a higher level of justice. The kind of justice that I demonstrated because of my Christian faith that condemned Israel and Hamas. I can condemn both. Why can't he? Okay, He's the one that does okay. the time. Right. And don't interrupt. You've got three minutes, starting now. Okay. I'm going to say, he said, I, I support the genocide of Jews and Christians. That's not true. We Muslims, we have taken in Jews when they got tickets off from Spain. We have taken in Jews. We have taken in Jews to, when they came through the sea to Palestine. We took them in. Yeah? We never, we never prosecuted. We have one million Christians in Palestine. Okay? We have one million Christians. Nobody prosecuted. He said Hamas, they said they want to wipe out all Jews. Hamas have no problem with Jews. Hamas. They are, they, 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 they are living in, they are living there, it's the, high, the most highly populated area in the world. Two million people in a small pocket. Hamas are defending themselves. And, and, and the Zionism movement is using Jews. <clears throat> it's taking advantage of Jews and Christians and European Americans. It's taking advantage of them by making them support a state that ethnically cleansed, that shed the blood in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. People going to pray. How can you shoot somebody going to pray in the Ramadan? And you have all the Arab leaders standing with them. All the Muslim leaders standing with them. You have Emirates now. Making a peace treaty with Israel. What peace treaty? They fucking they attack some pray. They attack somebody praying in Ramadan in the Al Aqsa Mosque. Yeah, on all Muslims God. praying. You can go watch it on the Garden on all the news channels. And he, I, I spoke to him before. He said he, he followed the American version of the Bible, which is that. And for me, America, America invaded my country, Iraq, and killed one million people. <laughs> Ethnically cleansed one million people in Iraq. They said they accused us of having nuclear weapon. We had no weapon. We had nothing. And in Palestine as well, they they hit us and kill us. And rape our women and then they cry and they say we are doing it. <laughs> American army used to use uranium against Iraqis. Uranium, forbidden weapon by Geneva Convention. This guy, he doesn't condemn them. So all I'm saying is that Zionism is, is an anti-Jewish movement, is an anti-Christian movement, is an anti-Muslim movement. It's against, it's against Muslim Christians and Jews. It's taking advantage of them. I know what, after me, after and this guy, he keeps changing his side. He said in the beginning of the video, that he supports Palestine, he, he, that he supports, he's against Israeli uh, prosecution of Palestinians. And then at the end of the video, he said, I'm against, I'm against Hamas. Well, why can't Hamas have a gun if Israelis can have a gun? Why are they not allowed to have a gun and defend that's themselves? A, that's a good point. I know in West Bank, if you go to the West Bank, point. it's an unarmed area. Nobody have a gun in the West Bank. Four million Palestinians, may Allah have mercy on them. We are too late to defend our hostages in Palestine. Three million hostages in the West Bank. Three million hostages, Ya Nasi Alam. 
this guy, he's saying he's against Hamas because they're using guns to defend themselves against Israelis who are using guns. War only bring war. Peace only bring peace. If you want peace, take your guns away from the from Al Aqsa Mosque and stop hitting the prayer. Stop hitting the people who are praying in Ramadan. The holy month of the Muslim. One billion Muslims. One billion Muslims. How can you attack the people who are going to pray? Meaningless. Meaningless. He's saying meaningless. So he supports the, the, the killing of Palestinians by rubber bullets. All I'm saying, true Jews are against. Okay. Okay. So guys. Right, so I, want to go, so I, want to, I want to take a break. Someone can do the time. Here. Okay. So I'm going to take my three minutes. So, guys. Blood fire. Blood fire. Time it. Time it. Yeah. Oh, just, just get up a second. Bear him, bear him. Huh? So the other one. By the side, by the side. Just, just one minute. I'm not taking a minute. I'm just trying to get. Oh, somebody else time it. Where's the other guy go? Okay, I think it's enough. Okay, you want to shake my hand? Do we go? Yeah, of course. Okay, nice to meet you then. Yeah, you it's enough. Okay. Well, I think yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reply. I'm gonna reply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna reply to this guy. I'm gonna reply to this guy. You can apply to the guy. Yeah, I'm gonna reply to this guy. So what, what you heard? is I clearly said I condemn Israel. And did he listen? No. He just threw out more random accusations. And this is the problem with the pro-Palestinian movement, is it is based on hatred. And it is based on a, a conceited sense of the world. One that says that Muslims are always the victims, they're never the criminals. They're never the ones that do anything wrong. But what about Hamas's persecution of Palestinian Christians? What about um, uh, Hezbollah's persecution of Christians? What about the Muslim Brotherhood's persecution of Christians? What about Boko Haram's persecution of Christians? What about the Fulani's persecution of Christians? What about the Janjaweed's persecution of Christians? What about the fact that Muslim uh, Islamist networks are persecuting Christians in Pakistan. That it's illegal to be a Christian in Saudi Arabia. Stop allowing Muslims to talk as if they are doing no wrong. Call them out on their injustices. Challenge them on their conceited view of the world. Christians, stand up for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Stop being so weak. Stop being so afraid. Stop being so spineless and ballless. Stand up for these Christian communities that are suffering at the hands of these jihadis. These jihadis that that Muslim that I was talking to supported and said that he supported. That jihadi that said that on camera, and I hope JC does a flashback, on camera that said that he would have the Jews, all of them, expelled back to Russia. What will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with the Israelis? What will you do with the Israelis? We will take them back to Russia, where they came from. Now imagine if anyone said all the Muslims of Britain should be expelled back to Pakistan. They'd be, he'd be screaming Islamophobia. But then he had the goal to stand here and talk about expelling all the Jews back to Russia from the Middle East. And he doesn't think that that's anti-Semitism. This is the kind of conceited injustice that is the fruit of Islam and Islamic ideology. And the rest of us need to see it for what it is and we need to stand up for it for what it is. Because if Muslims in the UK are willing to support Hamas in its fight against Israel, then since the UK and the USA support Israel, that means that that same jihadi Islamist scum that I was talking to will support terrorism in the UK and in the USA. If they're willing to support terrorists abroad, they'll support terrorists indigenously. And the rest of you need to wake up to that and get out of the cognitive dissonance that the liberal left-wing media has put over your eyes. Yes,